any device that's connected to the internet can be hacked. But just how likely is it that a hacker could take over the computer system of, say, an airport or a power grid? Making Stuff host David Pogue met with cybersecurity expert Terry Benzel to find out about the risks of a major cyber attack. So how vulnerable are we right now? Well, unfortunately, we're, we're entirely vulnerable. People in my community call it the cyber Pearl Harbor. And for us, it's not if there'll be a cyber Pearl Harbor, it's when there'll be a cyber Pearl Harbor. But I haven't heard of anything approaching a Pearl Harbor scale. You're making well, a big leap there. But we hadn't seen an airplane fly into a World Trade Center yet either, right? Can we wait for that? No, we can't. Benzel runs a project called Deter. Come on in, let me show you the Deter Lab facility. Whoa. It's a one-of-a-kind practice internet for cybersecurity researchers all over the world. The system consists of around 500 linked computers that can emulate hundreds of thousands more. Researchers can use Deter to stage cyber war games without harming the real internet. One form of cyber attack under investigation is the distributed denial of service attack. In this scheme, a cyber criminal gets hundreds of thousands of users to download an innocent looking message that contains malware, basically viral software. Once infected, the computers form a vast robotic network, or a botnet, which the hacker controls. The hacker can then tell each computer to send a useless request to a particular website or network, like one for a power grid. These requests overload the site's server, causing the site to deny service to all of its legitimate users. Ted Faber stages one of these attacks on the deter system. Those little booms there, as anyone from War Games will tell you, are not good. Each dot represents a whole bunch of attacks. Right, yeah. exactly so. And the more dots along a given path, the more attacks are going from here to there. And where are you? Where is the website? This is the victim right, right here. here. It looks like they're coming thicker and faster now. Each time you get infected, you also start trying to infect your neighbors. Eventually, the box turns red, indicating that the server can't handle the huge amounts of traffic to the site. This type of attack temporarily shut down the web service of scores of U.S. banks in late 2012 and early 2013. But using Deter, Faber can test a cyber defense strategy. What I'm going to do now is rerun the same game, except these other two guys who we had here, Constant Blue, they're my backup servers. He brings two additional servers online. If you look close, you can start to see these packets inbound to this guy, packets inbound to this bottom guy. So now the botnets so, are attacking the backups too? Yep, but notice that because the attack destination is spread out over three nodes, they don't get as hot. Oh, you're dividing up the load of handling all these useless requests. Right, and you can see we're all pretty much the same color again. We seem to have spread the load out and continue to serve people. This time around, the victim's website survives. But next time, the hackers may come up with a new kind of attack. In order to win this digital arms race, Deter is educating the next generation of cyber researchers so they can predict the bad guy's next move. With enough minds on the job, perhaps Deter can prevent a cyber Pearl Harbor.